What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great, hope you're having a great weekend and welcome to this new video on Dogecoin. I uh, wanted to make a quick video on that, wanted to make a quick technical update, we'll briefly talk about some fundamental matters as well, uh, but in general my, uh, my goal is to educate you and, and prepare you as well as possible for everything that can happen with Dogecoin. Uh, so that's what we'll do in this um, in this video. We'll uh, start with the fundamentals, I think. But before we get into that uh, altogether, if you want to receive daily trading signals by me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, uh, and there you'll find instructions on how to join. Uh, we've been very profitable so far, and all of the trade results are also open. Uh, I just have an Excel document that you can find in, in the groups as well, um, and you'll easily see all the trades and how profitable we have been. All right, but now on to uh, now on to Dogecoin. So technically, the main resistance level which we are struggling with is this resistance level right here, uh, between the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.618 fips of the, this entire move down. Uh, but there's more to it. Uh, it. It's also just a normal key level between 8.9. Perhaps we should drag it all the way down to 8.9. Historically, that's a pretty strong level. Uh, and 9.2. I mean, technically, that's just also a strong resistance level. So that's where we are right now. Uh, we're desperately trying to break above that. We're not really re respecting nor reacting to the 0 0.5 FIP anymore. It doesn't really matter. 0 .0, 0 0.618 is stronger either way. Uh, but you can, I mean, one thing you can definitely see is that we are relatively bullish, right? We're in an uptrend. And that has to do, I think, greatly, um, well, a little bit perhaps with 420 coming up and uh, some sort of expectation from, uh, from Elon because if Elon Musk says something or Twitter do, do something with Dogecoin again, um, I'll tell you what will happen. We'll easily break above the 9.2 cents level and we'll rally all the way up to, to 10 and a half and 11 cents. All right. So just so you know, if that happens, we can easily do that. Um, it's, it's just not something you can, you can build your analysis on, right? Uh, so for now, the market is still very bullish. There's some sort of hidden bullish fundamental uh, momentum because of 420. Um, but the biggest thing is, is that I think most of this bullish momentum actually comes from the bullish momentum in the market. All right. So Bitcoin right now is still very strong. We're still above our levels. Um, but that is something that needs to stay constant if we want to see some sort of a bullish breakout. Because right now you can see that Dogecoin, as I said earlier, we're in an uptrend. But altogether, you could also say that, that uh, this resistance level might be too strong. So do I think that at some point we will be able to break above 9.2 cents? Yes, I think right now that's still the most likely scenario. So that we'll get up there, find resistance at 9.4, 9.5 cents. We'll take that break retest and then we'll start trending up to 9.8 and 10 cents. The thing that could happen though, and that could kind of... Um, I wouldn't say destroy, but kind of postpone something like this or just... Uh, block it out altogether is if we lose that bullish momentum. If Bitcoin right now gets a bearish breakout through 30,250, we'll get some more bearish momentum. And what, hap what happens then is that Dogecoin will uh, drop down to these levels. It will drop down to uh, 8.7 and afterwards probably drop down to 8.5, 8.4. And then from there we'll have to, we'll find support and we'll probably, because I do expect Bitcoin to be, uh, be, to be bullish after that as well, We'll probably get back up to, to 9.2 and 9.1 cents. But the longer it takes, the more chance there is that there's something bearish that happens, which uh, wouldn't be a surprise if, if, you, uh, if, if you take a look at everything that happened to the crypto markets in the last couple of man months. So um, altogether, I'm, I'm fairly bullish on Dogecoin. Um, whether we will break out above 9.2 cents now or whether we will uh, get some sort of a slight pullback down to 8.5, 8.6 cents. Depends on Bitcoin, unfortunately, I think. Um, but we'll have to wait for that. I'll monitor that. This is my full analysis based on all scenarios. Uh, so if you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.